start with a question not quite a polynomial string platform binary string s so we have a binary string s of even length n he considers a pair of indices i n minus i plus 1 where is i is less is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to n minus i plus 1 to be good if si is equal to s n minus i plus 1 so basically it's checking first and last second and second last third and third last and so on and it is of even length the string is of even length okay so we have here good pairs when these pairs are equal that first is not equal to this so it's not a good pair the second element is equal to the second last element it's not equal so it's also not a good pair but this element third element and the third last element is all is equal so it is a good pair so we only have one good pair in the string 0 1 0 1 there are no good pairs because first element is not equal to last element second element is not equal to the second last element Dad loves palindromes but not too much so he wants to arrange some characters of the string so that there are exactly k good pairs so what in this question we are supposed to do is we have to arrange the elements of the string in such a way that we get only k good pairs only exactly k good pairs so we have to tell if it is possible or not to get exactly k good pairs while rearranging the elements or not first test case here so it is n and it is k input and n is the length of the string and k is the number of good pairs okay so let's see this we have zero 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Okay, so it's of length 6. Right. Now we have to tell if it has exactly two good pairs or not. So first element is equal to second element. So there is one, one good pair. The second element is equal to the second last element. So we have two good elements, two good pairs. The third element is equal to the third last element. So we have three good pairs. So it is not equal to k, which is given as 2. So can we rearrange the string in some way so that we have it? No, because there is not a single one in it. Right? So it is not. The required string okay so we are going to output now because no matter how we rearrange it we are not going to get the string which is good okay let's see the next test case 0 1 0 and 1 we have at least one good pair so first element and last element we check it is not equal so we don't have at least one good pair and we cannot rearrange the string in order to get a good pair so what are we going to do in this question how can we approach this question so let's see here if we take for example test case one zero one 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 zero 1 1 okay. we can count the number of ones ones here would be 3 and zeros we have 1 and how many good pairs we need we need one good pair k is equals to 1 So let's see a temp k that we have 
created. It doesn't matter how many times we rearrange the element. We give it one zero. Uh, we put zero here and one here and then one one. We shift these ones or we shift these ones. It doesn't matter as long as we can make a string that has exactly k group pairs. Okay, so let's see. We can make a string. We can try to make a string, and then we'll see if we have the number of zeros or ones that we can use to make this good string. Okay. So, how are we going to solve this question? Is let's take index. Uh, let's make that string that we want. Okay. One zero one one. Okay. So it's length four. Let's take it position one, two, three, and four. Let's keep low here, and let's keep high at this position. So we are going to fill the position one with either one or zero. So as the number of ones is greater, let's fill it with one. We fill one here. We fill one here. Then we decrease the number of ones, and it will go to one because we used the two ones here. Okay. Now we have our temp k as one because there is at least one good pair, and as these both are equal, we'll increment low, we'll decrement high. Okay, now there are two positions left. Now, how can we fill the, these positions with? As the number we want is already satisfied, k value is already satisfied, so we should fill here numbers which are not equal. Okay, we cannot fill here zero zero. It would be wrong. Or zero one zero or one one. We we should not fill here. Okay, so what can we fill here? So as the positions are still empty, we'll fill. fill. Let's fill zero here. So it counter will decrease zero fill here, and we'll fill one here. Then we increase low, and then we decrease high. So low now becomes three, and high now becomes two. So as low is greater than high, we don't have any positions left to fill. So our good string becomes one zero one one, and it's possible to get that string, right? As we have. The count of ones and zeros as zero. We have ones count as zero. That means all the ones have been used, and we have zeros count as also zero, as all the zeros have been used. Okay. If it had happened that the number of ones became negative, the number of zeros became negative. it showed that there are less number of zeros or less number of ones and that would result in that there cannot be any number of rearrangements that would satisfy the value of k exactly okay let's understand it with the another test case let's see the second test case here to check it it's Zero and one. Right, and the value of k is one. Let's see if we can make it, make a string or not. Count of zero is one. The count of one is also one. 
of course suppose we fill these two positions first and second fill low and high both with 0 and 0 then what will be the count the count will become minus 1 right and 10 k will be 1 because we have to satisfy the condition of the string we are going to make that equates the good number of good pairs okay now we'll increment l and we'll decrement h right now there are no more positions to fill now we'll check the value of z and o if the value of z or o is negative we can say that there cannot be a string made that has exactly k pairs okay i hope you have understood this test case so the output will be no because there can be there cannot be a string made with exactly k pairs let's see another test case let's see this test case so in this test case we have number of zeros 4 1 2 3 and 4 and we have number of ones as 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so total length of the string is 10 okay so for we have low here and we have high here So what is the value of k? k is 2. So we have to have exactly 2 pairs. So let's fill here. The count of 1's is more so let's fill 1 here and decrement it to 4. Increment low decrement high let's fill zero is here zero and zero temp k we have value one here and then it's two okay then we'll increment low and we'll decrement high So temp k and k value has been okay so exactly that pairs have been made many positions with zeros and ones so that it doesn't make a good pair okay let's fill here zero decrement the count to one fill here one decrement the count of ones move low forward increment it and decrement high fill 0 fill 1 and decrement the counter increment low and decrement high fill 0 fill 1 Decrease the count, it becomes minus 1, it becomes 1. Okay, increment low, low becomes 6. Decrement high, high becomes 5. Stop because all the positions have been filled. Now, as we can see that the numbers of zeros has gone negative, it implies that no rearrangement is possible to make the string that has exactly k number of good pairs okay. now let's see the solution of this problem int t c int t it's, it's the number of test cases we input string s and we have here n and k input n and k input string s count of zeros is zero count of ones is one here we count the number of zeros and ones 
we have temp k as 0, we have low as 1 and high as n position. Okay. Here, we satisfy the temp k is equals to k. Okay. So, if z is greater than or equal to the number of 1s, 0s and 1s, then we decrement the count of 0s, else we decrement the count of 1s. So, it's basically to fill the positions with 0s and 1s respectively. Okay. We increment the count of good pairs, Tk. We increment low and we decrement high. Okay. So, after we have satisfied this condition, when Tk is equal to k, if there are any positions left, that means low is less than high, we fill it with alternating zeros and ones. Okay, so we decrement one one count each and we increment low and we decrement high. If low is equal to is equal to high, at last we check because all the positions have been filled here. Now we check if low is equal to is equal to high. Then actually it's not needed because the number of ones is number of the the length of the string is even so it's not needed low will never be equal to high okay it's it will be greater okay, so we can leave it to okay. so here we check if count of zero is once is less than zero or if count of zero is less than zero then we see out no no arrangement is possible else we see out yes we can make the string okay well, thank you that's it. I hope you like the solution and if there are any improvements that can be done, please let me know in the comment section.